Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, yeah, Friday evening, we're gonna have some more Sudoku fun today. So uh, I was planning to do a gas video, but I guess that'll go up tomorrow now because this just in, Garlic Bread Fries, it's his birthday. And uh, he's sent in a puzzle which features, I think, his birth date here. And you can tell from 031005 across the middle, um, how old he is today, and what continent he was born in from the ordering of the, or what continent he lives in, from the ordering of the uh, month and date. That is assuming this isn't a puzzle for the 3rd of October, which I'm sure it isn't. It is for the 10th of March. Happy birthday, garlic bread fries. You have attained your majority today. Um, in fact, there's his age, 18, in the central box as well. So... We've got a new rule set to look at when we get to that. Now, don't forget, today was the deadline on getting the shout out um, for the Alice in Sudoku Land hunt. And clearly a lot of people were aware of that and burnt the midnight oil last night. We got a ton of entries today and poor old Simon is going to be reading those out for some time unless I step in to help him at some point, which may happen. Um, yeah, very well done to everybody who's got through all 12 puzzles. Brilliant set of... Japanese Sam Sudokus, and you can still try them. Do join in because uh, the prize for that competition is for getting any three of those puzzles right by um, the 20th. So there's still time to do that. And that's on Patreon. Check it out. Um, also, there's Simon's three hour listener solve of a fantastic puzzle with a brilliant denouement. Um, by Aragon. It's really, really good. Do check that out as well, or if you're on Patreon. Um, also, do join Patreon. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like the videos. We love it when you do that. Do post comments, the, especially the kind ones, to the constructors, particularly. They are always very welcome and much treasured. Now, you can also buy our apps and our merchandise. They're all on links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle called Adulthood. And uh, Garlic Bread Fries did supply us with a, an example puzzle of a smaller size called Childhood, amusingly. Uh, the rules are these. Now, it's quite an interesting rule about fountains of youth. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so at least we're going to put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box in the grid. A set of the digits, one to nine, one in each row, column, and box in the grid are fountains of youth. So I'm just going to randomly give positions where those nine cells could be. If that was a set of the digits one to nine, they could be the fountains of youth. The fountain splashes the cells orthogonally and diagonally adjacent. Right, so if you had a fountain there, all of these cells would be splashed. A fountain doesn't splash itself, but it could be splashed by another fountain if there was one there. Um, anyway, a cell may be splashed by multiple fountains. Each time a cell is splashed, the value of the cell is reduced by one. So the number in it for the value of that cell you count as one or maybe even two less. The cages show the sum of the values of the cells it contains. Um, so the values. So the values in this cage add up to five. So it could contain a three, ooh, not like that, a three, ooh, what's going on here? A three like that and a four like that. And if there was a fountain cell here, that itself would be reducing them both by one. So they would be worth two and three and that cage would be satisfied. That is how the fountain of youth system works in this puzzle. That's weird, isn't it? Let's see if we can work out how to solve it. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. So, where do we start? You know, normally in these boxes, to have three cages, you could add them up, subtract them from the, the secret number 45, which is the sum of every row, column, and box. I believe Simon has been giving away this secret, annoyingly. Um and then work out what this other digit was, but we can't do that because we don't know where the fountains are. 
How on earth do we find out? Three, five, ten. It would be nice to find an impossible cage somewhere in the grid, because that might be a start, but I literally can't do that. OK, this is an impossible set. This, OK, this is the smallest total of three cages. Like all of these corner boxes, we have a symmetrical disposition of three cages. And we can add them all up, but they make 38 there, 41 here, 37 there, if I'm getting that right. But only 25 here, which is a very low number. So let's start in box one and work out what the heck is going on and what it means. 25. Right. Twenty-five. So if you had a fountain here, it would affect all the cells in the box. Their values would all be reduced by one. Oh, that's interesting. Right. It's a bit difficult because I'm positing a value for that and I'm positing a value for my posited fountain. Ah, OK. OK, we've got to find a way to resolve the fact that the values given in these cages are only 25. This must have a value of something as well. Well could have a value of zero actually or even minus that's weird Ugh. okay I but the difference between the 45 that must be the total of these digits and their ultimate values is going to be made up by the number in this cell and the actions of fountains that could be one in this box somewhere, one in these rows, uh, in those cells, and one in those cells. And it's possible... OK, let's posit the maximum digit here. I'm really just thinking. I'm not placing a 9 in the grid. I'm just thinking about this. Let's say that was the maximum 9. Now the values in this box are 34. Well, no, they're not necessarily. OK, uh, let's try something else. Let's try putting the minimum values in these cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They would add up to 36. Then let's try... This is therefore the 9, if that was the case. And if that was the fountain then these 36 are reduced by one each, down to 28. And that is still too many. So we could put another fountain cell there or there, not in the same row as the 9. And that would take two more off our total. Oh no, hang on, this is... I'm not sure I added the 9 in, did I? Oh, now I'm completely confused. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, we need to find some way to reduce the values here by the maximum amount. So the minimum value those could be is 36. If we manage to take 8 off them by having a fountain cell here, then they're down to a value of 28. Oh, and that's fine, except that... Well, no, I still have to... Oh, no, that is fine. OK, the, the... Right, what I need to look at is the minimum value of these cells, which could be 1 to 7 equals... No, I <laughs> think again. Think again. The minimum value of these cells, they could be 1 to 8. That's what I was thinking originally. 36 there. Now, how many of those could we reduce by 1? 
We do, yes. The minimum value of those cells is 36, which we re need to reduce to 25. So we're reducing it by 11. So we're going to need a fountain cell to act on as many of these. We're going to need more than one fountain cell. In fact, since the most that a fountain cell, the most number of those cells that a fountain cell outside the box can act on is two. If you put a fountain cell in either of these positions, it splashes those. And if you put one in these, it splashes those. But we're going to have to reduce the minimum value of these cells by at least 11 to get to the values in the cages. So the most we can have from an outside is two. The most we can have those reduced by inside is by seven. If we put one here, it acts on seven cells. That's it. So that is a fountain cell. And that is a fountain cell because we need one in one of these two to act on those two. And we need one in one of these two to act on those two. And now the number of cells we're acting on here is seven from that one, two from that one and two from that one and that reduces those to 11 so those are the minimum values of one two three four five six seven so these other two cells are eight and nine although does the fountain not count doesn't this cell count i'm totally thrown now why doesn't that cell count in its cage I've still... Oh no, the... Sorry, 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 sorry. That was... That 1 to 7 thing is not right. This is 1 to 8. They're all 1 to 8, aren't they? This is 1 to 8. That's what I'm working on. They add up to 36. Then we have fountain cells in these places and they reduce by 2, 2 and 7 is 11 and they come down to 25. So does that happen automatically or does it, well it selects a 9 for this cell, so that was right. What about this cell? Does it matter what this is? Not really, weirdly. Okay, this cell, the digits in it are going to add up to 9 because they're both splashed twice. The digits in this one are going to add up to 12 because, no, to 14, so they're 8 and 6, aha. Uh -huh. These ones add up to 9 because they're splashed twice. These ones are, add up to 14, but they're splashed twice, reducing each cell once each down to 10. These, right, so 6 and 8 come out of these cells, and these two now have to add up to 9, which is either 5, 4, or 7, 2. That's annoying that I don't know which. Finally, I get some understanding of what's happening, but it's taken a while. And then these will add... Oh, these only add up to 10. Yes, OK. But there are only three splashes active here. So the digits add up to 13, and they will be 1 and 3 and whatever cells, whatever two digits are not in that cage that adds up to 9. Oh, this is very confusing. Anyway, I've got three fountains in the grid, and that means I can colour a number of cells because the fountains only appear once in every row, column, and 3x3 three three box. I'm pretty sure the rules said that. And I'm just checking. Yes, that is right. So all of these yellow cells can't be fountain cells. So, for instance, that is a genuine 13. No, it's not. It gets one splash from there. Hmm. This is either a 3 or a 4, because it's either 3 or it could have a fountain cell in one of those. I mean, that's not a lot of use, but it's something. I'll take what I can get here. Crumbs. That's been very confusing, but I think I've understood it at least now. So let's go down, well, which one of these boxes was lower? 27, 38, 31, 37. It's close, but I'm going with this box. Whose values say 37. Now, the minimum digits in these, that can't be a 9 anymore, or an 8, actually. So the minimum digits in these, if that was a 7, the digits in here are... 45 minus 7 equals 38. And then we have to reduce them, but only to 37. 
Hmm. Ah, the only two play. Oh, these can't be fountain cells either. I didn't realise that. They're all yellow. So where there is a fountain cell here. Yeah, it's not so obvious to me. Um, these cells add up to not nine, because there must be a fountain cell operating on them. So either ten or... Oh, actually, wherever you put a fountain cell here, it acts on this once. Oh, that's weird. If there's a fountain cell there, it acts on this cell. If there's a fountain cell in the middle, it acts on that cell. And if there's a fountain cell here, it acts on that. So there is only one fountain action on this box, this cage. And it therefore adds up to 10. And therefore it's a 3 and a 7. That's so strange. Because uh, it can't use 9, 8 or 6. And that doesn't tell me anything about where the fountain is here, but it tells me 3 and 7 are in that box. Now this one is either 6 or 1 fountain action, so it adds up to 6 or 7. That's not actually very helpful. Hmm. What am I? I'm not meant to look at this. I don't think so. The number here is too big. And it so depends where the fountain is. I don't know. I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to keep thinking about this box. Oh, maybe I can think about this instead. Because the same is going to be true here. There's one fountain acting on this cage, which adds up to 12. And is either... Oh, very interesting. It's populated either by 8, 4 or 5, 7. But whichever one of those it is, this isn't a 4-5 population anymore. That is now 2-7. So now we take 7-5 out of there. Look at that. That's weird. We can take 2-7 out of those cells. This one is 9 with two double, double striking fountains. Right. Oh, well, I feel a bit better now. Now, 1, 3, 5, and 6 to place in this column. And this 13 cage... That cell is not going to be acted on. This is going to be acted on once, definitely. So the ca this cage adds up to 14. That is 6 or 5, and this is 9 or 8. Um, now, we've got 4, 8 in there. Maybe I should think about this. This is, probably adds up to 11, although it could be only 10. If it adds up to 11, it's 9, 2, or 6, 5. But if it's 10, it's 9, 1, or 7, 3. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Um, I could write 1, 2, 4, 5 in there. It doesn't feel like it's doing a vast amount. These That fountain's playing its part on that. Oh... I'm really going to have to come down to this box now. I think I've got to at some point. Oh, it's interesting. I mean, I do begin to understand how this puzzle is working after 15 minutes, but not really brilliantly yet. I'm not really getting it. The fact that all the fountain cells are going to contain different digits, I don't think there's any way for me to use that at the moment. Mm, I want to do something with this six gauge, but I just don't think I can. Three, seven. So, oh, okay, this is one, two, four, or five, right. Now, how many cells in these eight cells is the fountain here going to be acting on? If it's here, it's three. If it's here, it's four. And if it's here, it's three. So, the total of these... Um, 
is going to be three or the total of the digits in those is going to be three or four more than the total of their values. The total of their values is 37. So the total of the digits in them is going to be 40 or 41. Leaving this to be a 5 or a 4. And I don't get to decide which. That's annoying. I thought that might come down to one possibility. But at least I've understood that a bit. Let's try that down here. Um, the total of these is going to be the same. It's 2738 plus 3 or 4, depending on where the fountain is. So that's 41 or 42, leaving this to be 3 or 4. Only one of those is possible. That one is a 3. OK, so 42 is the original total of these. Therefore, to get down to 38, they get splashed four times, and that requires a fountain in the middle to splash those four. Yes. That is where the fountain is. Wow. I mean, why does this take me so long to understand? Here, I just don't know, because I don't know whether it's a four or a five there. Um, I've got a one, five, six, triple. That's no use. This adds up to, ah, now I know that's there. I know this adds up to 11. It's not 3, 8, or 4, 7. It's 9, 2, or 5, 6. And the other digits, including 1 and 7, go in here. Now, do I get to look across here? I don't think I do, really. Let's have a think about this box here. 17... Twenty-four, forty-one in those cells. Oh, and the original digits can't add up to more than 44. So, that's 44, 43, or 42 being reduced to 41. Well, if it's 44, 43, or 42, this remaining digit is 1, 2, or 3. So it's not 41. It's 42 or 43 being reduced. To 41. By a fountain that only somehow splashes one or two cells. How can that even exist? Because everywhere I could put a fountain in this box, it splashes three of these cells. If I put it there, three. If I put it there, three, there, three, there, three. I've misunderstood something, haven't I? I must have got something wrong. Um, 41. The minimum value of the fill of these cells is 44. Oh, that's fine. That's what it is. 44 can reduce by three splashes to 41. That's fine. I haven't misunderstood anything. I just didn't get that last step right. And I sort of thought that digit not being a three had something to do with the number of splashes. It doesn't. It has to do with what the maximum value of these cells before adjustment is. Right. So these were adding up to 44 by the position of the fountain that splashes them, or even the fountains that splash them. They are reduced by three. So the, the, the fountain in the box could be there, 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 or there, which splash three. Now the other thing is that there is no fountain here or even there, or anywhere here, to do more splashing of these cells. So they are not fountains. So one of these is a fountain and these aren't. One of these is a fountain and this isn't. And this is the fountain in the middle box. Wow. Um, now that could be a fountain. I don't know where the remaining fountains are, but we're down to this now.
Mm. Now, how many times does this 12 cage get splashed? It's either none, if there's a fountain down here, or it's one, with that cell being the splashed cell. So it either adds up to 12 or 13, and actually that's not very helpful. Um, this one is either a, it's not a five, it's either a six if it's splashed there, but there could be a fountain here, so it's six or seven. Oh, this we now know is not splashed, that's a three. This 10 cage could be splashed twice. This 18 cage either once or not at all. Can I add all of these up? No, because I just don't know whether there is a fountain in those cells. Eight, maybe there's a minimum maximum thing. 18, 28, 31, 36. Definitely splashed three times. So a minimum val a minimum digits of 39 in there. making these have a maximum value of six in terms of their digits. Uh, I find this very difficult. This has to add up to 11. Sorry, the, the digits have to add up to 11 because this is going to get splashed once. We've seen that arrangement before. Uh, that's not necessarily true, actually. It could add up to 12 if that was a fountain because this is splash. In fact, it does add up to 12, because that is splashing one of its cells. So there is one splash from the fountain appearing here and one from there. This is adding up. The digits in it add up to 12. They're not 3 and 9. They're not 5 and 7, because that would put two 6s there. Good grief. So that's an 8 and a 4 that go in there. This is a 9. And that's five then. Doesn't determine what this is yet. Um, now, what about this cell, which can't be nine, five, three, four, or eight? Is that interesting? Nah, I don't think so. This box has to add up to at least 11, and it could be, t no, at least 12, because that is splashing both cells. Ah, oh, so that can't be a one or a two. So this is a six, seven pair. That's a two because it sees a one, six pair in the box. And that's a one. Oh, it's amazing this. Okay, this, this cage, the digits add up to at least 12, but it could be 13. It's not 13 because I can't put six, seven in there because of the six, seven pair here. And that tells me this is not a fountain cage. This is brilliant. So we get a fountain there, nothing there. Now, this 12 cage gets splashed once, so its digits add up to 13, and that's not helpful. Ah, this doesn't have a 1 in it, and it adds up to 6 or 7. So if it adds up to 6, because there's a fountain cell there, it's a 2-4 pair. If it adds up to 7, it doesn't have a 3 or a 1 in it, then it's a 2-5 pair. So now I've got a 2-4-5 triple, that's an 8 with a 4 beside it. Now this box was adding up to 12 because it couldn't add up to 13, so it's a 7 and a 5. That's a 6. This could add up to 18 or 19. Now what do these add up to? 12, 15, 21. Plus 18 there would be 39 and leave those adding up to 6, which would make them a 4 and a 2. But if there is a fountain here. This adds up to 19, making these a 4 and a 1. So they definitely include a 4 and either a 1 or a 2. 8 and 9 are in these cells. That's not really powerful. This 9 cage actually adds up to 11 originally from the fountains that touch it. It's not 7, 4, 5, 6. It could be 3, 8 that way round or else it's 2, 9. I'm running out of cages. Oh no, this one's good now. This either adds up to 12 or 13. If it was 12, it couldn't use 8, 4 or 5, so it would be 3, 9. 
If it's 13, it can't be 8, 5, or 4, 9. Ah, oh, then it'll be 6, 7. Oh, we now know this. Oh, we've always known this 10 cage adds up to 11. Oh, that can't be a 2. That can't be a 9. We've only just seen that I've done something there. This adds up to 13. If that was a 5-6 fill, this would have to be 9-4. Yeah, that works. 2, 4, 5, 3, 7. This is 1, 6, 8, 9. Ah, oh, 9, that adds up to 24. So it's affected twice. So that is not... Um... That is not, yeah, this won't work. We know the digits in here now. Right, this adds up to 24. We need to subtract 2 from it. So the fountain is either there or there, not here. So that's yellow. Now we know that the fountain being here or here is, oh no, in one it will splash 3 and in the other 4 cells. We still haven't resolved that. 2, 4, 5, 8, 1. These are from 3, 6, 7 and 9. Oh, does I don't know if that gets adjusted. Oh. <laughs> Do I know? No, I don't. This, they add up to 19. I think that must happen by virtue of 17 plus whatever's missing from that. Yes. This adds up to 10 originally. No, 11 originally. That's why I've got 2, 9 or 8, 3. Uh, kind of one choice away from... Now, this has added up to 12. Now, it was always going to be plus 2 from the fountains. This is going to affect everything in this box by 3, whichever one of those is right. Hmm. Oh, the digits in the fountain cages. This is something I've not thought about. I've been very careful about trying to place them, but I haven't thought about what's in them. That one is 4 or 8. I don't know. I don't have much information about what digits are in them yet. No, it doesn't look useful. I suppose there's a 3 or a 7 in that one. Ooh, we're nearly forming a 3, 4, 7, 8 quadruple. That would be interesting if we could get a ruling on that effectively. So this cage consists of either 981 or 982, and that all depends on whether there is a fountain cell there. Then it would be 982. Which would put a 1 here. I don't know. Ah, I'm not quite close enough to this yet. <laughs> the puzzle is still being a little elusive, frankly. 7, 5. That can't be a 5. That's very uninteresting information. But 1 and 2 must appear there. Oh, what am I missing here? That's adjusting four cells, but we've worked that out. 7, 18, 28, 38 plus 4, 42 plus 3, 45. Yes, we've done that. Whichever of these is right is adjusting three cells. Ah, okay. That can't be a fountain. That's lovely, because it would make that a fountain in this box, and they'd both be ones. So that's not a fountain. Oh, I don't know. That Maybe that doesn't even help anything. Now I can have a fountain arrangement there of 1, 4, and 3 or 7. That would make that 2, that 8, that 3 or 7, and the others would be 5, 6, and 9. And that's possible and plausible. Okay, the other arrangement is these, but I don't know what goes in them. Oh... 
Okay, I do know there's no one in those cells. I didn't I haven't marked that. Just need to do some some maths or something somewhere. Okay, this 12 cage that actually adds up to 13. Right, it can't be 6, 7 because one of those must go here. So it's either 4, 9 or 5, 8. Now, which of those is a problem? If it was 5, 8, that's 2, 9 and that doesn't fill. Bang, there we go. This is 9, 4. And that's quite a complicated deduction at this point. I really believe that. Um, we can't have a 9 there. Now, that's 9, 4. This is now 5, 6. It doesn't decide what this is, except that it's not 9. So we've got 1, 2, 7, 9 in here. We can't have 9 on the right or 2 on the left. One nine four. This is not nine three. This is six seven. So that's a three nine pair in this K in this box. Um, we still haven't got. Now maybe we can think about the identities of the. Yes. Look. If that's beautiful. If that was a fountain, that would be a fountain, and that would be a fountain. Then four and eight would both be fountains, and you couldn't fill this fountain. That is crazy time. So those ones are not the fountains. They're yellow. These are the fountains. They're red. They're going to let us choose some of the other fountains. That can't be one or four. That can't be four. This can't have a four as a possibility. That can't have one or four. We've got one, four, two, eight done. These two now form a 3-7 pair, and that's a 5, and these remaining two are a 6-9 pair. Nice and very distant. Um, so, this is progress. I feel like we've done something now. Uh, now I don't really have any more to do with the cage totals anymore. That's so strange. It's just Sudoku now, is it? I don't know. I, I never feel... Never feel very competent when we get to that part of a puzzle these days. It used to be my strong suit. 29516. I don't know. I've, I feel like I don't know what's going on in this. Um, Garlic Bread Fries has come up with a very clever concept here. I will grant that. Ah, these. Right. This now adds up. Well, that had to be a four, didn't it? So these must add up to the right total. 189 is 80. Yes. 6, 1, that fixes the 3, 9. That 3 sorts out a 7. In the other fountain cell, that's a 3. 4 in the row goes there. That's a 2, 5 pair to be resolved. This is a 7, 6 pair, which are resolved. The 3, 8 pair over here aren't. There's an awful lot of unresolved cells here. Unresolved issues in my puzzle. Um... That's still not done. That adds up to 11, doesn't it? Right. Somewhere, oh, this six cage definitely adds up to six now. Yes, I had not finished work on the cage totals. That might be the last one. As long as I make this add up to 11, that was the last one. <laughs> That's not a four. That's not a two. This is a 6-9 pair. Can I use that? It means none of these cells can be 6 or 9. Oh, that's very interesting. If none of these cells that I've highlighted can be 6 or 9 because of that pairing, where does 6 go in the middle column? It can't go in any of those places. So it must go here. So that's a 9. That's done all the fountain cells. We have discovered the secrets of the fountain of youth um, and I hope garlic bread fries discovers it because let me tell you aging is no picnic um, now six there what did that nine do for us that placed nine in this box still have a feeling there just isn't enough information in the puzzle I'm sure there is now but I have to figure it out. Five and six there are done. Six and eight. That does eight and three. Now, that can't be a three, is all that taught me. Five in the top 
in box two is there. And that doesn't place it for me down at the bottom. Uh, 3876 still to place in this box. No. How is that not done yet? It just isn't. Or do I now need to think about where 9 is in the middle column? No. No, not so. There must be some elimination that I've basically achieved and I'm just not recognising how it's working. Oh, come on, Mark. 1, 3, 4, 2, 7, 9, 5. Right, this can't be 6, 7, 5 or 9. So it's 1, 2, 4, 3 or 8. There's only one place for 7 in the top row. Ah, there's only one... Yeah, there's two places for 7 in this box. So that fixes the 2, 7 pair here. I didn't see that. 2 and 4 there. So now this can't be 4. And that really doesn't feel like it does everything. I've done all of these surrounding parts of these corner boxes and that feels like it ought to have given me the key to the whole puzzle but as you can see it hasn't um six eight seven three still to go in here that is three eight or six it must be in this middle column the key six seven five Four has to be in one of the only place for four is here in the middle column. Why would I be looking at four? I don't know. Right, now we get two there, two there. One of these has to be a two and we get the last cage. That must be instrumental. So up the middle again, six, two, nine, five, seven, four. That's not a six. That's not a nine. This is three or eight. So this is a one, eight and nine. The central box is done. 7 and 8 there. 7 and 6 up here can go in. This is not a 6. 7, 2, 8, 9, 6. So 4. Yes, I can place that. This is a naked 3. Then we've got a 1, 5 pair here. Now that 3 places 3 in this corner box. It still doesn't feel like enough. Um, there's a 2-5 pair. How weird. Okay, 8-6. Then a 1-8 pair looking at this. No. 2-5. Why hasn't this finished it? I can place 7 in this box. I hadn't noticed that since I got this 7. So that's 2. That's a 1. I, that's been sold for ages and I didn't spot it. Okay. Now I'm beginning to feel, finally, with about 10 digits left, that I do have enough information. Although this could also be a deadly pattern. No, it's not. One nine, one five. Oh, what a puzzle. Happy birthday, garlic bread fries. That's pretty special. 40 minutes and ooh, certainly some understanding of what was going on gained. But look at the lovely symmetrical, oh no, not quite symmetrical disposition of the fountains. Almost. If those two were in those two cells, it would be fully symmetrical. Very tricky idea. Really interesting puzzle. And uh, yeah, enjoy your adulthood, garlic bread fries. You will. Thanks for watching on the channel as always. Great fun to do these puzzles and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.